Nearly all these murderers are white males, many of them handsome, charismatic, intelligent. This is the story of a couple of all-American kids, Roy Alston and Bo Richards. They're young, they're clean cut, and like most kids, they want to do something spectacular. So what do you want us to do, huh, Roy? Uh, become computer programmers, maybe fly the space shuttle? He seemed like a regular kind of guy, uh, you know, normal, kind of quiet. He, he just didn't seem like the kind of guy that would kill anyone. But Roy and Bo are different. Sorry. They're trapped. Walk in there, Monday. Run the drill press the rest of our lives. And they don't fit in. Look who's here. What happens when there's no way out? You should have killed him. Almost did. Almost doesn't count. These people confuse sex and aggression. They can't differentiate between the two. At 11.30 p.m. in Los Angeles, Roy and Bo met Angie Baker. Come back to my apartment. She was 29. Gave her two seconds of pain. Girls like that one have given us 18 years of pain. Lisa Fisher and Rich Wilder were both 19. This is my game, sucker. Like if I had a 38 right now, I could make you do just about anything I wanted to. It's in the look. It's in the touch. It's in the eyes. It's the latest style in madness. Everybody's got a gun these days. They're more popular than sex. What are you doing, you crazy Get out. Day by day, they're changing the face of America. A lot of people out there. And they're barely old enough to vote. It's you and me up here. Watch them. The Boys Next Door, starring Maxwell Caulfield and Charlie Sheen. From acclaimed filmmaker Penelope Spheris, a motion picture, and a warning. The Boys Next Door, rated R.